and welcome along to Hive Live Extra, your place for exclusive reaction and analysis following Watford's 2-1 victory in South Wales. Two extraordinary finishes from Nathaniel Chalibur and Adam Messina uh, to see the Hornets win 2-1 against Cardiff City. Here with me in the studio to talk through all the drama, I'm joined by two former Hornets and Tommy Mooney and Tommy Smith. And uh, I don't know about you, Tommy Mooney, I'm still picking my jaw up off the floor there. Wow, what a dramatic end to that game. It was a very dramatic end and a great strike from Messina. I'm still not sure how it, how it went in. <coughs> if the keeper had stood still, it would have hit him in the chest. Um, but I, I don't think it's any more than what Watford deserved this afternoon. They were by far and away the, the best team on the afternoon. Didn't create too many chances, but still f so comfortable throughout the game after such a, an awkward start, really, with the own goal. But a thoroughly deserved three points, but a little bit late to leave it. Yeah, it was a real moment of magic there at the end, wasn't it, Tommy? Because I think we've seen other teams around us in the race for promotion get those lucky moments a little bit late on. But how satisfying to see Watford benefit there. Yeah, it was fantastic. As Tommy touched on, it was thoroughly deserved today. They uh, controlled the game probably from minute seven onwards, um, perhaps without creating too many chances. So as he was lining up to take the free kick, you're just hoping that something, deflection, good cross, good strike. Um, you know, so it was great to see it fly in. Of course, it's a shame that um, it was clearly a goalkeeping error. Um, but. We, we needed that little bit of luck and, and sometimes you need that just to kind of you know get, get your, your kind of yourself over the line at the end of the season it might be one of those moments we look back on and think wow that was a, a really important moment yeah absolutely uh, we'll talk um, about the difficult conditions that they had to face but just to mention it briefly the wind this the slippery service are they saying about the wind do you think that helped just Whip that free kick in a little bit at the end there, Tommy. Well, it certainly made it hard in the first half for the defenders. There was a couple of times Tristy Kong and Sierra Alta and even Daniel Bachman misjudged the wind in the first half when it was going towards the Watford goal. So certainly there was all sorts of weather conditions, pretty much every weather condition this afternoon, but the, both sides had to deal with it. And, mm. you know, I don't really care how it, how it went in the net as long as it goes in the net and we get the three points. Yeah, away from that dramatic end and the conditions they had to battle across the 90 minutes, it was just that, a battle, a real physical one, wasn't it? But that's what we expected. It was, it was. And I, I, I think Cisco will be absolutely delighted with how, how the players stood up to that. Um, and not only stood up to it, they, they nullified Cardiff to one shot on target, which when you look over the last 11 games, they're unbeaten. They've won a, a, a large portion of those games. So they've been scoring goals freely. Um, so to keep you know, kind of just, just to only let one goal in and it was, it was the own goal. But, you know, they, apart from that, they looked very solid as a team and Cardiff hardly created anything. So I think they, you know, more so than anything from today, I think that will give the manager, a, you know, a, a lot of confidence in this team and, and what we're going to go on to do for, for the running. Mm. Great team spirit as well. I think we saw that again today. Not only the character they showed coming back from behind, but even the goal celebrations, you saw it. everyone coming together. Yeah, I love that, the goal celebration at the end. The whole squad, and we, you know, we talk about it with, with goal scorers, but you rarely get it, the full squad of every member of staff, whatever their role was, was in that, that huddle at the end. And it's, you know, you don't get those too many times. Certainly not without it being a promotion at the end of the season. To get it at this point suggests that that unity at the training ground is is going in the right direction. And like I say, they, they deserved it. Nate's got a wonderful goal in the first half, and I think I think from that point on, they never looked back. They were very very comfortable. Mm. You've been in multiple promotion winning sides. This, when you see the way that team came together, especially after the two goals, do you think yeah they've they've got exactly the kind of team spirit that you need? Yeah, absolutely. And it takes moments like that sometimes just to really kind of give a real lift throughout the squad. Not that they've needed it. It's, it's been a really, it looks like it's been a really good spirit since the new manager's come in. But sometimes there is a point that, you know, now these guys will be buzzing, um, not just from the win, but from that goal. And that will carry through till Tuesday mm. and it'll be all they'll be talking about. So it, it can sometimes just really give that extra 5 10%. Um, and it is great to see. Um, and it, it, it felt like more than just three points. I don't know, it was that celebration. Yeah. It was, it, yeah. You're right, it's great to see it. Great to see everyone coming together like yeah. that. Well, we'll be looking ahead uh, to Tuesday's game shortly, but for now, we're all about exclusive reaction here on Hive Live Extra. Uh, so we can cross pitch side to the Cardiff City Stadium and speak to Dan Backman. 
Dan, just take us through those final moments then at the Cardiff City Stadium. What drama? Yeah, I mean, obviously we knew coming into the game that it's going to be a really, really difficult game. I think they were unbeaten in 11 or 12 games before that and won quite a few of them as well. So, um, yeah, we knew what to expect. We knew the way they play was always dangerous and yeah, to, to win in that fashion is uh, not just massive for the, for the rest of the season and that could be a big step for us. And it's just the, the emotion of a last minute winner at a place like this is um, hard to beat. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, your voice does sound a little, a little bit croaky. What the scenes like in the dressing room after? Yeah, I think my voice always sounds a bit uh, a bit funny after <laughs> after every game. But yeah, it's a bit a bit worse today. I'm not going to lie. There was um, a bit of screaming going on in the dressing room, and um, yeah, it was nice nice to see the boys. Uh, you know, such a togetherness as well from from everyone, um, the staff. Um, yeah, it was it was a nice moment in the dressing room, and uh, hopefully that that can set up nice set us up nice enough for the for the last few games. Yeah, absolutely. Take us through where you were stood when Messina scored that goal. <clears throat> what was your angle? Did you think it was going in? Well, I didn't see the ball flying through the air at all because there were so many defenders. The, the first thing I saw was the, the net, net move and then I looked to the side and saw everyone run off and the ball must have gone in somehow. Uh, um, I think there was no deflection. I asked Adam, he said he went in direct. So he's, he's claiming that I'm, I'm not sure what happened. I just saw the ball hit the back of the net. And um, yeah, I turned around celebrating. Everyone else I saw in the end was uh, just going uh, crazy on the sideline. Uh, but then for, for a second, he went from my head. There's probably about two minutes left. And the, the style of play they have, they can score at any moment of the game with the long balls and the flick mm. on. So, you know, we knew it wasn't done, um, but obviously it was, um, yeah, it was a, 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 big, a big step. Yeah, I mean, it looked like a clean strike from uh, the replays that we've seen. An unlikely goal scorer, though, I suppose, in Adam, but that's twice now that he's chipped in. And we haven't even mentioned Nate's goal either. Another quality finish. Yeah, it was two two great goals. To be fair, obviously Nate's finish, I think, was right in the right next to the post. Um, and um, obviously, you said Adam uh, two and two now. I think is that right? Yes, that's right. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, two and two. Obviously, we know he's got a great left foot and a great strike. And you know, if the ball goes on target with the power he can create, um, it'll cause trouble for cause troubles for the keepers. <clears throat> yeah. Speaking as a goalkeeper, would you have given yourself a chance against either of those strikes? Uh, obviously, the first one I think is, is unstoppable. Obviously, the second one um, I've not, you know, I've not seen it back. Um, like I said, I've literally just seen the the ball hit the back of the net. It's very difficult, you know, from these positions for a goalkeeper. It's very, very hard. Um, you know, probably the goalkeeper will get criticised for that, but it's as a goalkeeper speaking myself, it's very, very difficult from that angle with the pace coming in, people are in front of you. Um, so yeah, it's it's a tough one for him, and um, yeah. But from our point of view, obviously, we we take the we take that and um, move on to Tuesday. Yeah, looking at the game as a whole, you showed some real grit and determination as a side. I think I'm right in saying that's the first time we've come back from behind. Uh, to win a game. So, yeah, just tell us a bit more what that says about the character of the side. And you've already mentioned the team spirit. Yeah, it's, um, it's, um, it's a big step, obviously, in the right direction. I didn't know it was the first time we, we won after, after losing 1-0. Um, yeah, it's obviously it's it's a great win in general, and it was it was really difficult. Like I said before, we we knew they were going to be a tough, a really really tough team to play against. Um, very physical, and obviously the wind made it very difficult, especially in the first half. It kept kept swirling and you know putting the balls, making the balls faster than slowing it down while it was still in the air, and it was just it was really really difficult. That I got caught caught out once, <laughs> once myself, and um, you know got away with it. But it was very difficult to deal with, and um, the main thing is we got the three points. <clears throat> we stuck together, um, and um, yeah, after the first 15 minutes, I thought we we played well and we we controlled the game as as much as we could against a, a physical team like this. Mm. And I think we created quite a few chances. And um, yeah, just the scenes in the dressing room after obviously show you know how far we've come almost. You know, to 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 see how together everyone is from every single player to every every single staff member. Yeah, I did wonder, and we were saying here in the studio before Messina scored his goal, just how satisfied you would have been with just the one point. Because I think Cardiff only had one shot on target. Um, and of course, the goal they got, we'd scored. But you mentioned there the conditions. It was tough out there, wasn't it, between the slippery playing surface and the wind. So to get that goal, to get all three points back up to second, you must just be so pleased. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a massive win, obviously, you know, 
like I said a couple of times, that it was really it's gonna we knew it's gonna be really difficult to play here, and um, the conditions didn't help it. So um, and obviously you said I think they had one shot. Uh, on goal in the second half and obviously the, the goal came from an on goal so you know we've done really well to condemn that and um, you know minimalize their their, their chances and um, you know we dealt well with the long balls into the box from free kicks from throw-ins and um, um, yeah obviously to, to get the last minute winner you know it's um, there's nothing better in football. Mm. All right well you go and enjoy those celebrations Dan well done today we see you Tuesday. Thank you see ya. Take care. Uh, great to hear from Dan Backman there. And just for clarity, it's the first time under Cisco uh, that the Hornets have come back from behind. Uh, Tommy, you said pretty much that this was going to be a big week. Ideally, you're looking for nine points from nine. But to have what was arguably the hardest fixture, certainly on paper, out of the way, that's going to be a big boost, isn't it, to, to win it in that fashion? Well, with the exception of us, Barnsley and Norwich, they were the informed team. So uh, we knew it was going to be a tough task. The way we performed today, we made it so much more easier for ourselves. Having said that, we left it late. I, I, I get that, and it could have been a draw. But I just think that that momentum going into the Rotherham game on Tuesday, which will be very similar. They're, they're, a, they're a basic side, well-structured, but they'll get the ball for, forward early. They're not as good as Cardiff. So in theory, if we can perform the way we did uh, today again on Tuesday, it, it, we hopefully should get the same result. You've alluded to it already, but... Does this feel like quite a big, significant moment in this season? Do you think it might be one that we look back on and think, wow, that, that was a really, really critical result? Yeah, let's hope so. Um, I just think, yeah, when you see scenes like that, there's certainly, it, it brings a real togetherness. And um, you've, uh, I've seen and experienced moments like that, that then that does catapult you forward and um, you take that energy and team togetherness into the next couple of fixtures and you know and that's kind of a real springboard to what can happen mm. moving forward so yeah look that, that, that thoroughly hard fought win today um, and yeah they'll be on cloud nine going into the game on Tuesday which can only help. It does make Tuesday's game quite interesting in that now you get the feeling that this has been a real boost for Watford and there may well be quite an explosive start to our next game but we are facing a Rotherham side who haven't played their last couple of games um, they have had to postpone their most recent matches due to a COVID outbreak at the club. Arguably, that could see them rested and then equally explosive. I don't know. How, how do you expect it to play out? I, d I don't think them having more rest will benefit them uh, at all because the, the, moment, the momentum of today's win is far superior to rest in comparison for the two teams. So Watford, they'll want to play tomorrow that game. They have to wait till Tuesday. That's a great thing, which sets up another a game on Saturday before the international break. So I, I, I just think each time that we've had a, a full week's break, the team have, have come back stronger. So if we can get through these three three games with three wins, then we have another block of, of uh, training ground tactics, if you like, for one mm. for a better term. That sets us up for really well for the running. Would you agree with that, Tommy, even though we've had a more hectic schedule, more football to actually be played due to the nature of this win today, we should actually have the advantage over the team, which arguably is a little bit more rested? Yeah, absolutely, because uh, when other teams are playing and you're not, it's frustrating because you're seeing other teams pick up points and, and you're losing ground in, in the league table. And when you're looking over your shoulder, that's, that's a concern. So the, I'm sure you ask any of the Rotherham squad, they'll be saying, look, we'd much rather have played. So, mm. yeah, they're missing out massively. And there's only so much you can do on a training pitch. You want to be out there on a Saturday doing it. Um, and that's exactly kind of what we've done today. Momentum is, is a huge word in football. And yeah. um, taking what we've done today into Tuesday far outweighs the rest, certainly. Yeah, hopefully we can pick up where we left off. So I'll be with you again on Tuesday evening on Hive Live with a full hour of Watford Focus build up to that game against Rotherham United. As a kickoff at seven, we'll be with you from six with Steve Palmer and Will Hoskins in the studio. Uh, we'll be doing the FAQ segment again. So if you've got any questions that you'd like to put to our guests, don't hesitate, don't hold back. You can send them to the email address there. And then do join us on Tuesday, watfordfc.com forward slash Hive Live. Uh, but for now, another great day in the office for Watford. Two spectacular goals. It does see us. Got up to second in the table. I think that's seven wins out of eight, which sounds pretty good, doesn't it? And uh, hopefully we can add to that on Tuesday night away at Rotherham. Tommy Mooney, Tommy Smith, thank you. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you then.
If you enjoyed that, then you will love this. Is that alright?